Oh, this is a picture of me in a dark theater watching The Matrix Revolutions. <laughs> now I know what the son of Sam's dog must have sounded like to Sam. <laughs> Ripper! Ripper! <laughs> because when you think Jack the Ripper, you think Blue Oyster Cult! The Walken agreed to do this game, but only if it was specifically in his contract. I gotta have more cowbell, baby! The Ripper's a wrecking machine, Rock. You wanna beat him, you gotta eat thunder and crap lightning. Ripper? I hardly knew her! <laughs> more random has-beens than the Hollywood Squares! Okay, I'll grant you this is a more appropriate theme to Jack the Ripper than, say, Go Go Godzilla. Okay, game, somehow, I don't know how, but you've managed to land Jimmy Walker. Do not let him go to waste! Well, apparently she's not in any great hurry. We now switch to Mosquito Vision. I guess I just don't get the point of the song. Of course seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, sun, or rain. I mean, they're inanimate objects, and in Season's case, just an arbitrary metric to measure the passage of time. I just hate it when people project human emotions on the rain, that's all. God. Yeah, do you guys ever do that? Try to get your keys out and unlock the door real fast, pretending there's some kind of serial killer lurking in the shadows coming after you? Oh wait, hey, that's actually pretty appropriate here. Really, why should the wind fear the reaper, even if it could? It's not like you can kill the wind. I mean, you can understand my fear of the reaper. I can die. I just think my fear of the reaper is a little more rational. That's all I'm saying. Ah, the reaper! Oh. Ah, I instantly got the plague! Ah! See, that lady just died. This video has given me every reason to fear the reaper. My editor. Ben Dodds called me at 3 a.m. to give me the news. Susan Boyle had come in second. It was a woman this time, the third victim. She'd been ripped. Of all the reporters in the city, the Ripper picked me to write to. A crossword puzzle guy. I knew that another mad letter to the city was soon to come, and I would run it on the front page of the Virtual Herald. You know, in the future? I would let the world know the Ripper had killed again. It's not a very good headline he came up with. A Ripper has struck. Not only is it a passive sentence, a Ripper, not the Ripper. Is there more than one Ripper? Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. I uh, hope you haven't eaten yet, Quinlan. Because uh, we're going to head down to Winchell's after this. You want to go? Because cops eat donuts and uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Christopher Walken is the Blade Runner. Figured you'd get here sooner or later, Quinlan. You and your hair. You can't get enough of this story, can you? I think everyone's had enough of this story, Magnata. Baby, you cracked this case. Y'all be wearing gold-plated diapers. So you've got a crime scene knee-deep in blood, but they've taped off the bedroom and the bathroom. You really don't want to go in there. Yeah, in the future, we've pretty much given up keyboards and typing. Oh, but Windows endures. Not really anything I can click on there. I gotta talk to Walken. Talking icon, special guest appearance by Dead Bob. Don't go taking any souvenirs, Quinlan. I was here first. I called dibs. I don't even know why they give you a choice of questions to ask, since you're pretty much forced to ask them all anyway. Same MO as the others? You got it. Yeah. Look around you, asshole. <laughs> if anything, this is more gruesome than the other two. Hell of a lot more splatter. It's like Gallagher went melon crazy in here. Who's the victim? You're standing in a... Her name's Stein. Renee Stein, Stein, age 43, book editor over at Knopf. Knopf. Any connection to the other two? Well, let's see. Yeah. Estevez was a programmer. Mandalore, dry cleaner. Dry cleaner. It'll take me 48 hours to run it down, but there's no connection here. Grab some coffee if you want. It's all gonna get thrown out anyway. You have any clues? No sign of forced entry. Nothing's disturbed. Well, except for everything. Prince, hers and her mother's. The only thing not where it should be is this woman's insides. But well, what about witnesses? I mean, this guy must have been a bloody mess, even if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, it's Greenwich Village. Somebody must have seen him. As far as I know, he left us with one witness, and she's feeling a little fragmented at the moment. This guy is unfucking believable <laughs> This guy is just unbelievable. Why is her computer on, Magnata? Well, it looks like she was in a public library node. Library node? Well, let me ask you a question. You got any mail lately? Maybe a little something from your pen pal? Maybe a tweet? He writes after the fact, not before. You should know that, Magnata. I wouldn't hold out on you. 
Of course not. No. You've been very good no. about sharing what you know You've been good. with me and several million other people. People. I should have busted you when you ran that first letter without letting us know about it. Makes me want to gesture with my right hand at you. All right. Visiting hours over. There's nothing here you haven't seen at the other murder sites except a few extra gallons of body fluids. Body fluids. We shouldn't be touching anything, should you, Magnata? Hmm. Never questioned Bruce Dickinson. I guess this case has me rattled. Now get out of here, Quinlan. I don't want to see that ugly mug around here again. Oh, you just know that's a clue. <laughs> Object scanned into database. Fascinating, Captain. <laughs> hey guys, I guess you'd call that a mug shot. <laughs> Ow, I hit myself. Why? It's a reflex or something. This shattered mug had something written on it. See, it's the future, so you don't have to spend hours with a bottle of superglue assembling this broken mug by hand. It's a good thing he had the foresight to go to the Apple iTunes store and then download the uh, broken mug scan and repair software. Unfortunately, it is kind of an early version, so it's not very good. I'm skipping ahead to the solution to this puzzle because this one took me a very long time to solve. Not because it's hard, but because it is terribly coded for a couple reasons. The first reason is that uh, you can only fix this mug from one perspective. You can't actually rotate it on another axis. You can only rotate it in kind of the X, Y direction. The Z direction you can't rotate. So it's very specific, the, uh, the pattern and order you have to put these mug pieces together. The second reason is, even if you've solved it, a lot of times the game doesn't give you credit for having solved it because it has to be so precise, like down to the pixel, so if any one of the pieces is misaligned by a fraction of a centimeter, you basically have to take the whole thing apart and put it back together again, because you have no idea of knowing which piece is out of place, and it's usually one of the ones in the back. And the reason I complain about the perspective is because uh, Quinlan tells you that there's writing on the mug. Well, that writing would have been a really good guide to help you put the puzzle back together, right? You know, because there's writing, you just put the letters back together. And in fact, knowing that, the puzzle ceases to make all sense, because if all you want is the writing on the mug, that's the only part of the mug you have to reassemble. So that's the mug puzzle, one of the first, and unfortunately, one of the most infuriating puzzles of Ripper. Salisbury. I wonder what that means. Besides being a delicious steak. Mmm, Salisbury steak. Cold Carl Stasiak. We gotta stop meeting like this. Oh, you don't need to give me the silent treatment, Carl. I said I was Carl. sorry. <sighs> sorry, Quinlan. Hail Caesar. What'd you say? Ask him about his rockin' bling. <sighs> Is there any difference between this murder and the previous ones? It's identical. Absolutely identical. Except for the different pots. Cut. A perfect line. And the way he empties out the body cavity. The way the organs are blown all around the room. So it's the same killer? Oh, for sure. I mean, the organs, they completely cut to pieces. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Not since the last Walmart opening. Any clues to how it's done? Don't ask me. You'd think I'd be used to seeing things like this by now. But I'm not. Whoever did this is beyond madness. Beyond Sparta! It's pure evil. I mean, I've cleaned up after every one of Ben Affleck's homicides, and I've never seen anything like this. Any progress in the investigation? <sighs> Who knows? Trying to get anything out of Magnata is next to impossible. And I'm drunk. Besides, if he does have a lead, you sure as hell never share it. He might lose his bounty if he does that. Well, you've been working with Magnata for years, Carl. What's your hunch? Well, something's bugging him. <laughs> Who am I to talk? I'm having nightmares about this. I've been a forensic photographer for 22 years, and nothing's ever got to me like this. Ben Affleck, now nothing! I can't sleep. No, you just need a vacation, that's all. Yeah, I hope you're right. Eh, it's not all that shocking. It's how most dates with Phil Spector end. Any idea what weapon he's using? Take a look at this mess. It has to be something big. A sword or a machete or something. Anti-personnel mine. Just can't cut through all that bone and muscle with the dagger. And the strength it would take to make a cut like that... He must be an enormous man. Oh no, did I put in a DVD of Highlander 2, The Quickening In, by accident? He knows a lot more about murder weapons than I do. You should talk to him. Let's see, either he's nodding off to sleep, he's really agreeing with me, he's got Parkinson's, or he's got a rocking new tune on his iPod. 
What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk, uh-huh. The future! Quinlan here. Hey, Catherine. She's a ghost! Hey, Jake, how are things there? Well, it's very... red. That's weird, it's all blue over where I am. Just name, Catherine. Listen, Jake, something's come up here. Something about the Ripper? Might be nothing, I don't know, could be something big. Just wait for me at the newsroom and I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Now talk to me, what's going on? I have to go, trust me. But who's in charge here? Well, after last night, I'd say that I am. Huh, even to the future, AT&T service sucks. So all of a sudden you don't have to explain yourself to me? Look, if you don't hear from me in an hour, just go to my apartment and wait for me there. You can hang out with my crystals. Oh, wow, fun. Uh, Catherine, I got the version of this phone without the swirling blue thing in the corner. It sucks. What's going on, Ben? Did Catherine get a break in the Ripper story? Aussie Davis! I don't know, Jake. I thought you were the lead reporter in the story. Well, so did I. Do you know what she's up to? She's your assistant. You tell me. She ran out of here like the place was on fire. Hell, I don't know much of anything ever since the CIA cut a piece of my brain out and replaced it with a little bag of sand. Then I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Catherine and I met on the job. He's not typing that Despite fast. Reminding myself that mixing love and work can get messy. In more ways than it one. Didn't take long for it to become more than a professional relationship. Jake Quinlan, the ace reporter who hunts and pecks. But she was beginning to act like it was her story. Oh, he's having a Dookie Hauser moment. Hope that whatever lead she had, she wasn't in over her head. Calling Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. Source unknown. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Have you seen my work this morning yet? Every day of my life, I kick myself for not getting the version of the phone that had the swirling blue thing in the corner. I just hate myself. You never will. You shouldn't let your girlfriend do your work for you. She is close to me, and I'm not laughing. It's not easy being green, you know, Quinlan. Next job. She gets it today. The story's all yours. Yours truly. Ripper. Catherine. Quinlan. Where are you going? Sit. Stay. Quinlan. Quinlan. Usually it takes an hour to cross that part of Manhattan. I did it in 20 minutes, propelled by kicking myself in the ass for letting Catherine go out alone. And my jet car of the future. I got there, but everything looked okay in her apartment. I hung out with her crystals. Until Catherine showed up, that is. Catherine, what is going on here? Well, judging from the music, I think Jaws is about to attack. Catherine, what is it? What, the, what is wrong? Ca what happened? Oh yeah, well, she who smelt it dealt it, baby. Oh, we're winding up to a big old no. Fuck! <laughs> that works too, I guess. This guy is unfucking believable.